The gentleman reserves. The gentlewoman from Washington, Mrs. Rogers, is now recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We all share the goal of reducing the cost of insulin. This bill, however, is not the right answer. This is an attempt to revive Speaker Pelosi's proposed government price drug pricing scheme, part of a socialized medicine approach that would lead to fewer cures. It's the largest expansion of the federal government's role in private health insurance design since Obamacare. It will cost more than $11 billion over the next 10 years through higher subsidies for higher premiums. Just this morning, Axios reported, quote, legislation like the House bill from Representative Angie Craig that will be debated on the floor wouldn't address the core problem of rising cost of insulin. It would instead shift more cost onto health insurers and employers and result in higher premiums, according to experts. That means people who can't afford day-to-day -day life because of inflation and spending will face higher costs someplace else. Today, it's the government fixing the price on insulin. What's next? Gas? Food? History tells us that price fixing doesn't work. It shifts the problem someplace else. So the powerful has the excuse for more subsidies, more spending, and more control. This bill does nothing to address the real reasons insulin prices are going up. One of those is that pharmacy benefit managers and other middlemen who negotiate for high list price and then hide the lower cost from the patients. This bill gives the middlemen who are making the money a pass. Because again, in this bill, the Democrats delay the rebate rule that would ensure that the, the real savings go into the pockets of the patients. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, we have a solution. We have a bill that we've been working on for several Congresses. It, it enjoys bipartisan support. It's H.R. 19, the Lower Costs, Lower Cures Act. It would lower the cost of all prescription drugs, including insulin. It caps seniors' out-of-pocket insulin cost at $50 per month through Medicare. It also allows high deductible plans to cover insulin before the deductible kicks in. It increases low-cost options with more generic and biosimilar competition. There is exciting innovation on the way, being built right now, and it creates more price transparency. We should be lowering the cost without going down the road of price controls that destroy the hope of so many people in this country for life-saving cures. I urge us to reject H.R. 6388. Let's work on a solution for patients for all diseases. Thank you. I yield back. Preserve your time.